Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the first module, Introduction to Ninja Trader. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use the session manager to create session templates. And it's a very cool uh, and excellent tool within the Ninja Trader. Control Center because it will enable you to use only the market data that uh, you actually trade with. Now well, let's go to the uh, control center and uh, let's go to tools and click on session manager. This will prompt out uh, the session manager and all the session templates that uh, are loaded with the Ninja Trader. You can see that right here we are using the default 24-7 session template which means that we are using 24-7 uh, data on our charts. But for example if you trade the evening S&P 500 you and uh, you only trade the Chicago session, you might want to use only the C Chicago Board of Exchange US Index Futures session template, which starts at 7 a.m. and ends every day at 3.15 p.m. Now this will give your chart only data from 7 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. every single day. The next thing you need to do is to choose your um, your time zone and my time zone is GMT minus six. Now, um, you can create your own session templates, and uh, well, let's create a new one. Uh, and you can use, you can click on new to create a new one, or you can copy this exact session template. Let's copy this exact se session template and name it Invest Two. Uh, CBOE okay this is this is the uh, session template that we copied from the CBOE index futures uh, session template and uh, we want to modify the start time uh, because we start trading at 8 a.m. Uh, so we want to modify it every day to uh, 7 30 a.m. so what we do is we double click on the start time and uh, we modify the start time and of course if we want to modify the end time we can also do so and we do it for every single one of the of the days okay now you can also create a new one and let's name this one just in this two session template okay and as you can see uh, uh, when you create a new session template um, the sessions are in blank so you need to add and uh, let's say uh, you you start you want the uh, the data to start at Monday at um, uh, 4 a.m. and, uh, and uh, to end at Monday at uh, 5 p.m. okay so you create that and um, if you want the same uh, the same template for every single day, you just right click on Monday and add Monday through Friday, and you have your new created template for all of the days of the week. Now, uh, I, we already uh, told you that you need to choose the correct hour, which is GMT minus six, and you click on OK. So you have both uh, um, session templates loaded on your session. Now, if we go to the chart, let me just get rid of uh, some of these uh, lines right here because we just want uh, the actual data feed on our charts. You can see that um, uh, if you look closely at the gold chart, you can see that we do have some uh, very illiquid trading hours um, that are in the middle of our sessions okay and um, if we don't want that for our S&P 500 or e-mini S&P 500 chart what we do is we go right click on the chart we go to data series and uh, right here on session template we are going to choose one of the templates that we just created which is uh, the invest 2 CBOE okay and um, because we do want a visual representation of uh, the of uh, the template or I'm sorry of the sessions we are going to change the color on the uh, session break line and we are going to use a dark red okay now we click OK 
and we just wait for the data to load and you are going to see the difference between the this 50 minute uh, chart uh, with the 24 7 template and uh, the invest to cboe template that we chose okay now now you can see that um, uh, the chart has these breaks um, or these gaps from one session's end to the other se session starts and uh, the reason is because uh, we do not compile the uh, the uh, market data that is not within the session templates rules on this chart so this means that uh, um, on this session, uh, the market closed at uh, 2067.25, but it opened on the next session lower at uh, 2049.75. And uh, well, this will help you if you look at the very, uh, very low time frames, because it, uh, I mean, it will help you to avoid uh, those very illiquid. Uh, uh, illiquid hours and of course it will help you to look at, at gap plays if you are into playing the gap just look at this gap to the downside and uh, uh, correctly move to the outside uh, to the upside to close the gap uh, right here we also close the gap and uh, as you can see um, it is very helpful for a, for for an intraday basis strategy to use uh, session template